Indianaco, I'm going to let you have it. Okay. Well, this is. I'm a, excited though about this. Yeah, yeah. The, the folks at uh, Mac Fun, uh, ha, they have they have had a previous pick of the week in which they are their uh, denoise utility, which is just amazing at improving like a phone picture and getting rid of noise. They have a new app called Luminar that is the most modern photo editing app you can imagine it's not like it's it's not like photoshop where here is your picture here are some tools for going to the picture it really does work a lot like instagram but imagine that at a pro level where you it's got layers it's, it's got, got layers. all of photoshop style but, but sliders but i don't want people to be intimidated by oh layers and masking and it does that does have those features but we're talking about uh tools like uh, smart tone which is not something you find. It's a, it's a very like consumer level sort of thing where I'm going to push the slider, but when I change the exposure, I'm going to understand that you just want this to be brighter. You don't want highlights right. to be blown out, so I'm going to prevent that from happening. Uh, uh, things like uh, vibrance. Uh, this uh, uh, here's a polarizing filter. The effects of uh, uh, adding a, a photo polarizing filter. And not only that, but uh, when you oh, when you open it up, you have a very very simple uh, uh, uncluttered interface. But it also has like this big hopper full of other filters to it. Uh, for instance, I took a picture of uh, of a church while I was uh, while I was waiting for uh, waiting for my pickup. And so here's a tool that is a split color warmth warmth. It's a the, the picture um, that I took has a beautiful blue sky with clouds, and it has a church that's painted in like oranges and browns and tans. So normally, let's see, I'd like to warm up, the, I'd like to warm up the church a little bit. So those colors pop a little bit. Oh, no, now I've made the sky a little bit yellow, a little bit green. So with split color warmth, you can say, set a different color tone for the warm colors and the cool colors. So I can just by sliding this now I've just gone and made the church uh, a lot more uh, sunsetty, but I've now uh, taken the cool colors and made the clouds a lot more white uh, without screwing up the thing. The the, the that's really cool. And here, the, uh, removing haze yeah. uh, and that bu that beautiful denoise filter is also there in the menu bar. So if you want to uh, edit that as well, uh, so there's a lot of automated stuff. But but you can can you can get manual if you want too, right? I mean, it's not. Oh yeah, yeah. No, if yeah. You, and if you, and if you want to add masks, if you want to do Photoshopy things, like I'm going to select a, a certain section, make that a layer mask, and then only right. affect that. It's got but the, curves. But that, that's what that's awesome. what intimidates a lot of people right. by thinking that well, I, I need to take a Photoshop right. course. No, you can you can uh, a lot of the filters that uh, this app has is okay. I think I know what you're going for here. Just push the slider to the left or to the right until you get what you want, uh, and it's just so much fun. Really, it really is the difference between. Uh, deciding that you're not satisfied with your two-year-old iPhone and saying, actually, the only thing I don't like about my iPhone 6 is that I wish I had the better camera. But if you spend 70 bucks for Luminar and then spend two minutes, maybe five minutes tweaking things uh, in this app, you will get pictures that are probably better than what will come straight out of the iPhone. And if you have an iPhone 7, uh, it'll get even four times as much good pictures. And if you have like a really good pro camera, then, oh my goodness, it's like every single time that you have opened up a National Geographic or something, wonder why why do my landscapes never look that good? <laughs> well, because they have lots of great software. They've been, they know they have 10 years of experience in using it, but now you can have Luminar and say, I know I now know how to make the orange church with the blue sky look like it would look in a National Geographic picture. Really, really love this and one inexpensive which i like yeah and, it's 70 bucks and you own it it's not yeah and uh and interestingly i don't know if this is a sign of the times but they say a windows version coming yep and i don't think mac fun's ever done windows uh stuff so Even I it's wonder, called mac fun yeah. yeah mac fun for windows <laughs> uh tells you something doesn't it